Scopio, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a timeless reading for you. Whenever you're drawn to the video is when it's for you. Um, no particular subject will take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past advice and potential outcome. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your eighth house, this could be for you. Um, once again, thank you for the continued support. The easiest way is to either like, share, subscribe, comments. does wonders for the growth. Uh, thank you to all the Patreon members, so those that purchase private reads, the extended, the buy me a coffees, donations, etc. Uh, thank you very much indeed. The um, description box is all the information you need. And cross watchers, you're more than welcome. Okay, Scorpio, what's going on with you guys? Um, happy birthday, yeah? Yes, God, I've nearly lost a week there. I thought, um, still in your season, 18th. 18th, okay, there's a, um, a special 40th birthday happening today. So if you are watching, happy birthday. I'm not far behind you. It is just but a number. Okay, let's see what's going on. Scorpio, let's do two more. Ooh, the Emperor. Okay. Position of a power of authority. Divine masculine. Something we're aware of. Something we're not aware of. Recent past. Advice. And potential album. Wowzers. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands, the Lovers, Five of Swords, Nine of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Magician and the Four of Swords. Okay. Okay. For some, I'm getting a couple of things here. Um, you could be dealing with somebody, or you might have a boss that was a bit, we'll call tyrannical, shall we say. Um, maybe put a lot of burdens on you. Um, but I almost feel like there's an opportunity coming that's going to, free you up of some kind here so we've got the emperor what we're aware of is the ten of wands ten of wands is just being overburdened here the emperor can indicate a boss of some kind as well what we're not aware of is the two of cups and i kind of feel like the two of cups is here to say there's two things going on we've got a potential boss that is laying far too much on you and um, but there is an opportunity that's going to come from it uh, and lead you somewhere Either better, it could be a move, it could be a change, or a decision to change. Um, however, for some of you, this is also an emperor that's coming in. Uh, and don't get caught up in genders. Uh, they, this emperor could just be um, a boss, a leader, or something like that. very easily be a female. Um, whichever it resonates with you. In the recent past, we have the devil. Um, so this it could be a situation here with the devil and the emperor. This is uh, too much power, too much um, uh, control. It could be, just like I say, a, a boss that's a bit of a devil, tyrannical. Um, iron, you know, an iron ruler. Um, for a lot of you, this Ten of Wands energy is coming, it's culmination of, of, of attracting toxic karmic energies i almost feel like um the devil and the emperor could have been um uh, someone in your past who um on the surface of things could have been a divine masculine however it was a karmic relationship to possibly help you awaken to something um maybe awaken to choose you because at the end of the day if um if whatever this has happened in the past has forced you to choose yourself it's, it's a win-win. 
So we've got the Two of Cups energy here. What we're aware, uh, what your advice is, is the Four of Cups. So there's kind of an, an energy of gratitude here for the lessons of the toxic karmics. Gratitude for the lessons there. Um, but also to... I almost feel like there's, there's a possibility of maybe um, either a friend, that's possibly something more, or you're going to meet this in some sort of social out, uh, uh, situation. So the Three of Cups can indicate um, third house energies, local community, that type of thing. So there could be something coming in that you don't realise yet, um, which is going to lead on to something pretty impressive because your outcome is a Ten of Pentacles. So you might be seeing 10, 10 a lot, or 44. Um, that's interesting, because I did see the um, Four of Pentacles earlier, and I saw it in a different deck. But I'm just looking at the Two of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Wands. Uh, or, if we do it in a way, Two of Cups, Emperor, Eight of Wands. Either way, I'm just looking at the Two, Four, Eight. So Two, Four, Eight, for me, stands as Pluto. It takes 248 years for Pluto to uh, transit the Zodiacs. Um, so I'm going to look for your card, the devil card, uh, the devil, the death card of Pluto. But it just indicated to me earlier when I saw the four of pentacles here. Because um, in, the, in the after tarot, it's the, it's the miser with the death card approaching. So it's like, for me, it reads Pluto in Capricorn, which it currently is. Um, it's going to bring some changes when it moves out. We've got the Five of Pentacles with the Magician. But this Five of Pentacles, I, I, do, I don't mind. Because this is, you know, low vibration, negativity, maybe struggling financial, financially. But this owl is leaving that. It's, uh, it's setting forth to find whatever it needs to find. So. Sorry, guys, I've gone blank. Death card, and I want to see where the Ace of Cups is as well. Oh wow, yeah, you've you've completed the cycle, complete, 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 completed the cycle here, um, and now it's ready for your rewards. The Ace of Cups is wedged between the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords, so you've got all tens we've seen now uh, on the board. So you've probably seen a lot of tens. Interestingly, we've got the Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. I almost want you to choose for you, not for anybody else. I kind of feel like some decision making is based on family. Um, which is obviously understandable if you've got like young children or things like that. But I'm kind of seeing somebody here that's basing everything on... It doesn't have to be family, it's basing everything on other, other people. Other people's decisions. Ten of Wands can be taking on other people's problems when it's not your problem. So when you break free from that have gratitude for the lessons that life has brought you, you are getting everything. You're getting the, the love, the stability, the, um, yeah, everything you desire. So let's see where the death card is. And the death is with the three of wands and the seven of swords. Yes, I love this. And it, it sounds terrible with the Seven of Swords being here, but this is brilliant. So for me as a, as a reader, Death and the Three of Wands is literally anything toxic in your life is getting removed, which includes everything deceitful. Um, people that have deceived you, potential... Um, seven of Swords energy essentially is coming to an end. It's like the universe is saying, you've had enough of that. Now it's time for Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups, the Eight of Wands with the Lovers. This could be travelling with a partner. This could be communication with a divine partnership. Uh, where is the Empress? I did pass her, I'm sure I've seen her. problem with this deck guys they're so big it's not easy to uh, flick through I'm 
Okay, the Empress is with Justice and the Queen of Wands. You're magnetically bringing in the, the correct energies now. Um, because you, we've got the Emperor in these initial spreads, so the masculine aspects of yourself. We've got the feminine aspects of yourself. We've got the scales of justice bringing balance to it all. And what that does is turns you into the Queen of Wands who just magnetises and draws in um, everything that's needed. Is it Cancer? Cancer might have had something similar about being magnetic. Similar, similar uh, energy that I'm seeing. So wonderful. Perfect changes are happening. Um, I don't particularly think you need to do anything but um, stay in, a, in an energy of gratitude. Um, because the tens are pretty much uh, signifying that um, everything is 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 ending here, um, ready for a brand new beginning. Wonderful. In your extended, we'll look at what's coming in for you. We'll do past, present, and future. The positives coming in, negatives to watch out for, as well as your next steps, and uh, we'll see from there. So, if you enjoy me, fantastic. If not, let me know if this resonates. We have Aries. We have Saturn in Sagittarius. Venus in Cancer, Capricorn, Moon in Cancer, Mercury in Virgo, Mercury in Sagittarius, Gemini, Aquarius, Moon in Sag, Sun in Capricorn, Mercury in Taurus, Gemini in Virgo, and Libra and Capricorn. Cups, Pentacles, Wands, Swords. Everyone's here. Those are your standouts. Okay. Let me know. See you soon. Bye.